Hey everyone, welcome back to the ATD Movie Channel on YouTube. I've been away for a while and I'm really sorry. I've been kind of sick with something and it's been lingering for weeks now. Plus I took a trip to New York in between. So I'm back and today is going to be an exciting trailer reaction and review. It's for the latest trailer for Black Panther. Thought we could watch it together. I did a uh, video reaction and review earlier in the year for the teaser. This is the full length feature trailer. So we could watch the trailer together. We could talk about it in the MCU in general. And we'll watch it in three, two, one. I have seen gods fly. CGI heavy at first. I couldn't even imagine. Ooh, I wonder who that is. That's cool. That's got to be Wakanda. And it's showing you the futuristic technology. That's Martin Freeman, I believe. He was in uh, Civil War. That's crazy. It's almost like um, Themyscira in Wonder Woman. How he broke through there. Oh, I love Angela Bassett. Uh, Chadwick Boseman is just like perfect casting. Oh, Lupita. Wow, there's the suits. There's multiple suits. Very cool. Uh, doesn't look grounded in reality, which I, again, I'm fine with. I just don't think it's grounded in reality. Michael B. Jordan, Andy Serkis. Wow, there's a million cuts in this trailer. His skin looks burned or chiseled or something. Wow. It's almost like scales. Oh, he's got a suit too. Wow. Oh, we saw this scene in the, the teaser. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Wow, much more futuristic looking than I thought it would be. It's like a, almost like the first Thor. That looks like Japan. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. It's all the up close and personal combat I really like. It's pretty cool. February of next year. So that that's over. Um, it's a lot more CGI than I thought they would focus on. I thought, if I had to guess, that they would focus more on the character development and a little bit more grounded in reality. I'm okay with it. I am one of the few that was actually a fan of Thor, and that was very CGI heavy in terms of the stuff that happens on Asgard. It looks like Wakanda is sort of like... I referred to it earlier, like Themyscira, Themyscira uh, from Wonder Woman. It looks like it's in um, sort of like a cocoon or like a hidden area. And I'm not a comic book reader, uh, especially not the Black Panther uh, series. But it looks futuristic and it looks very CGI heavy. I really didn't think they were going to do that, but it's fine. I mean, it'll, it'll play into the MCU. Guardians of the Galaxy has worked. Both the first Thor, first two Thor movies made money. Thor Ragnarok looks like it's going to be amazing. And the talent in this movie, you cannot ignore the talent. I mean, you're talking about Oscar winner Lupita. Uh, I'm not even going to try to butcher her last name. You're talking about Chadwick Boseman, Academy Award nominee Angela Bassett. Uh, Michael B. Jordan is just an incredible young talent. Um, and I can't remember her name. She plays Michonne on The Walking Dead. Um, she's in the film as well. Andy Serkis. I mean, there's a ton of great talent. And I, I firmly believe that Marvel as a brand has almost guaranteed you something entertaining. And I'm not going to say that it's going to be a game changer like Iron Man 1 or Civil War. But what I am saying is they've earned the right to put their stamp and their name on something. And we as the audience will trust them that it'll be entertaining, it'll be fun. They really typically go for the action comedy, and this doesn't look like it's too far of a departure from that. 
I really like the up close and personal combat. I like the Black Panther sort of jumping on the vehicles and using his claws to take out the tires and attack his enemies and his foes like that. I'm not sure how the flying vehicles will play into the story. Um, this is sort of an origin story, but it's also a continuation of the, the character that we've already seen in Civil War. So it'll be interesting to see how Marvel pulls this off. And I'm, like I said, confident they will. They've kind of earned the respect of the audience at this point. I really want this to be a discussion. Uh, this is a review of the trailer and it's my thoughts immediately after watching it. But I want to hear from you guys, is this going to be similar in tone to something we've already seen in the MCU, or is it something new altogether? It's a little bit too early to tell. This is what they consider the first official trailer uh, con compared to the teaser that we saw earlier in the year at the end of the summer. So leave the comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the, the stars involved and again the tone of the film and how you think it's going to play out in comparison to other movies in the MCU. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. You can find other trailer reaction and review videos on the channel. And don't forget to subscribe to be updated, uh, notified of content uploaded regularly. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.